How are you all? Fine? Missing teachers? Yes, we all teachers are missing you all. Now students, let me ask you a question. Do you like to sing song? Yes, very good. So, there is a song which you already know. You have to sing it with me together and loudly. One, two, buckle my shoe. Come on everyone, loudly. One, two, Buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up the sticks. Seven, eight, let them stay. Nine, ten, a big fat hand. So this you have already learnt in your previous class. So in this, what, he, what have you learnt? You have learnt the numbers. With these numbers only, we are going to proceed and your first chapter is with the looking back. Now, as you can see, these three children over here, they are welcoming you in the magic world of maths. Now, students, let us see what are we going to study. We are going to study the chapter 1, looking back. Now, what is looking back, you will think, right? You have never heard this. In this chapter, what you have learnt earlier in your second standard, the same thing we are going to learn. Let us see the first question. The first question, write the number names. Children, as we have our different different names, the same way numbers also have different names and different places. First question, we have to name them. The first one. 718. What do we call it as? 718. The second one. 848. We will name it as 848. Very good. Are you writing it with me? Good. Now the third one. 590. 590. Fourth one. 694. 694 and the fifth one 999 it is called as 999 did you all wrote with me very good now let us proceed with the second one now students in the second question what you have to do write the expanded and standard number now expanded form means what? You have to place each and every number to its particular place. When we write the place value, we start from the right hand side. The first place value is once, then we move further to the left hand side from right to left. The first place value is once, the second place value is tens, the third place value is hundreds, the fourth place value is thousands, then comes ten thousands, legs and ten legs. The same thing we are going to do over here. Here we, they have given us the number name. We have to write it in the expanded form and in the standard form. So the first one, 579. Now just look children, you will start from the right hand side at the back side of the number. So, the first number is 9, then you will put a plus sign, 500, then 70, we got 7070, then you have 500, that you will write 500. So, your expanded form will be 500 plus 70 plus 9. So, your standard number will be 579, understood everyone? Very good. Now, the next one. 835. 
Remember, you have to start from the right hand side. That means 5 plus 30 plus 800, that means 8 double zero. So your expanded number is 835, 835. Now the next one, 702. So over here, 702, they have not placed any number at the place value of tens. So what we will do, we will simply put the zero. If there is no number, you will only simply put the zero. Children, remember that. So it will be 700 plus zero plus two. So how are we going to write the standard number? We are going to write seven, zero and two. Why did we wrote zero? Can anyone answer me? Yes, Keshav, answer. Yes, we wrote zero because there was no number at the place of tens. Now students, let us move further. Now, the same thing you have to do it over here children. The question is, write the expanded form of the following numbers. The first one, 9, 4, 6. You have 3 digits. Again, you have to understand the place value. And remember, when we see the place value, you will start from the right hand side. Understood? From which hand side? Right hand side. That means, you will start from 6, 4, 9. You are not going to start from 9, 4, 6. Understood, children? So, let us write it. So, 6 is at the place value of 1s. That means, 6 1s are 6. 9, 4 is at the place value of 10s. So, 4 into 10 gives you 40. 6 plus 40. Then, the last number is 9. It is at the place value of 100s. You all know, in 100, how many zero do we have? We have two zeros. That means it will give us 9 into 100, that is 900. Similarly, we are going to do the second one. 6, 4, 8. So, 8, 1's place value, plus 4, 10's place value, 40. And 6, 100's place value, 6 into 100 gives you 600. The third one, we will do it together. 6 at the place value of 1, so 6 ones are 6 plus 0. That means there is no number at the place value of 10s. So what are we going to write? Did you remember that? Yes, we are going to write 0. So 0 plus. The last number is at the place value of 100s. So 8 into 100 gives us everyone loudly. Yes, 800. Are you all writing with me children? Very good. Now let us proceed what we have to do. Write the place value of each digit in the given numbers. The same thing but little bit in a different way. Here only we are going to name the place value. We are not going to write it in the expanded form. So how are we going to do that? Did you still remember from which side you have to start? You have to start from the right hand side when you see the place value. So here the first number given to us is 2, 3, 9. From where we will start? We will start from the right hand side. So 9, it is at the place value of 1's. So 9 1's are 9. So it will give us 9. 3 is at the place value of 10's. 3 into 10 gives us 30. So 3 is equals to 10 is equals to 30. And 2 is at the place value of 100s. So 2 into 100 will give us 200. So 2 is equals to 100s is equals to 200. Let us proceed with the next one. Now children, we will start from which side? Right hand side. Very good. So, 4 is equals to 1's is equals to 4 because 4 is at the place value of 1's. 9, it is at the place value of 10's. So, we will write 9 is equals to 10's is equals to 90. Then, we have 6. 6 is at the place value of 100's. So, 6 is equals to 100's is equals to 600. Are you all writing with me together? Very good. 
Now let us proceed. Now children, you have already learned the addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Always remember, addition goes with the multiplication, division goes with the subtraction. These things you are going to learn in your earlier class, in your next classes. Now, here you are supposed to add the digit forms. Now, let us start. 1, 7, 0 plus 2, 0. Now, when you add something, when you have a number with you, from which hand side you are going to start? Always remember, whether it is a place value, whether it is an addition, always you are going to start from the right hand side, that is from the last number. Let us do it together. 0 plus 0. When you add something with 0, you get the same number. Understood children? So, 0 plus 0 gives you 0. 7 plus 2 gives you 9. How you are going to do that? Here you have 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Adding 2 to it plus your 2. So, let us count together what we are going to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is how you will count the numbers. So, 7 plus 2 will give us 9. Now, here we have 1. We don't have any number here down. The same number you will place it down. That is 1. The second one, 8 plus 6. So, you can do it. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, now this number is greater than 9. Yes or no? When the numbers, number goes greater than 9, when you, have, when you have two digit numbers, what you are going to do with that, one number you will carry at the number which is given you beside the number and the first number you will write it down. See how? 8 plus 6 gives you 14. So, the first number you will carry up and 4 you are going to write it down. And this carry number you are going to add with the another numbers. Understood children? Let us do it. 1 plus 9 gives you 10. 10 plus 3 gives you 13. Again you have got two digit number. What you are going to do? Yes, 1 you will carry and 3 you are going to write it down. So again we have carried 1 and this one we are going to add with this last column. So... That is 1 plus 1 gives us 2. 2 plus 1 gives us 3. Understood everyone? So now here you have learned the addition with the carrying numbers and without the carrying numbers. Let us move further. The third one we have 7 plus 9. As I told you how you are going to add 7 then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. Again you got the two digits number. 1, carry and 6, we are going to write it down. So here we, I have carried 1 and 6, we have write down. So over here, again we are going to add 1 with the second column. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 9 gives us 18. Again two digits number. Again we will carry 1 and we are going to write 8 down. So again 1 carry, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 1 will give us 6. Now let us do the next sum, 5 plus 4. So 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9. How much we got children? Louder. Yes, it is 9. So we are going to write 9. So 9 is a single digit number. Do we need to carry it? No, we will not carry it. When we will carry? When we will get two digits number. Understood students? Then we have again 4 plus 5. Earlier we had 5 plus 4. Students, this is the next another property for the addition. If you change the order of a number, the answer of the addition, what we call answer of the addition, we call it as sum. When you change the number, your sum does not change. It remains same. That means, right now only we have seen 5 
plus 4 gives us 9 or you write 4 plus 5 that also gives you 9. Understood everyone? Very good. So over here 4 plus 5, 9 and 7 plus 1, everyone louder. Yes, that is 8. Now, your children you have learned the addition. Let us proceed students. Here in the next question you have to do subtract the following. Understood everyone? Now, the first one. 0 minus 0. Just see. If I have no pencil with me and if my friend is asking to give a pencil, can I give the pencil to my friend? No. That means 0 minus 0 gives us 0. Then 9 minus 4. How you are going to do it on your fingers? 9 minus 4. So you will start from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many numbers you got? Let us count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 9 minus 4 gives us 5. Now, this was the sum without borrowing. Now, we will learn the sum with borrowing. Let us see students. Now, here a, a question was 730 minus 524. So, as I told you earlier, from which hand side you will start doing your sum? You will start from your right hand side. Now, just imagine when you have 0, can you minus or subtract a number from 0? No, you cannot minus. So, now what do you have to do? You will think, right? Miss, how I can minus 4 from 0, right? So, I will teach you how you can do. What do you have to do? Whatever number you have to the right hand side of the number, you will simply cancel it. That means we had 3. Now, what number comes before 3? That is 2. Understood students? So, we will cancel 3. We will put it 2. So, when we cancel a number, we get one extra number to put it beside 0. So, that means instead of 0, it has become 10. Now, let us minus together. 10 minus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let us check our answer. What we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 10 minus 4, we get 6. Now, what the next number is, now you are not going to consider 3. Now, you are going to consider 2. Why we are going to consider 2? Because earlier the 3 number has helped us to minus from 0, right? Now we have got 2 instead of 3. So 2 minus 2 gives us 0. If I have 2 pencils and those 2 pencils I am giving it to my friend, do I have any pencil with me? No, that is 0. The same way, 2 minus 2 gives us 0. Then the next number we have 7 minus 5. 6, 7, 8. How much we got? 1, 2, 3. That means 7 minus 5. You have got your answer. Now students, we have the next sum over here. Again we have to borrow. From 0 we have to minus 4. So, how are we going to do? We are going to cancel 6. The number which is beside the 0, this number is going to again help us. So, here it is 6 and what comes before 6? Before 6 comes 5. So, 5 we will get over here and here we will get 1. So, 10 minus 4, again we got the same number. 10 minus 4 gives us 6. Then 5 minus 2 gives us 3, 9 minus 5 gives us 4. Understood students? Now, the next number we have over here, that is 2 minus 3. Can you do it? No. Again, what do you have to do? Yes, you have to borrow. From which number you have to take help? Let us see. You have to take the help from 5. Cancelling 5, what comes? Before 5 comes 4. So, 1 over here. So, 12 minus 3. 
So again, we are going to count it together. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What is the answer? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10, 12 minus 3 will give us 9. Then 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 will give us 2. Now,